Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mike down here in the X Shack, getting ready to show you how to install a new product we just found out about from Yak Gadget. It is a manual power pole. Stick around, I'll show you how we do it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, how about hitting that subscribe button for us? I want to tell you about a new product we found out about from a company called Yak Gadget. They're based out of Tennessee. Uh, all their products are made in the United States. Um, we went to uh, East Tennessee Fishing Show, myself, Scott, and Mike, and came across this company while we were down there. Um, a guy named John Thomas had a booth set up. He's one of the co-founders, a real nice guy. Um, they have a lot of accessories for just about any kayak that you have. Um, you can check their website out at www.yakgadget.com and they have all their accessories listed, all the kayaks that those accessories fit. It's a pretty neat company. Anyway, uh, he had a bona fide kayak set up down there and what caught our eye was a manual power pole that he had. Um, that manual power pole was unlike any of the other power poles that we've ever seen, uh, any of the other manual power poles that we've ever seen. A lot of times you'll see DIY uh, videos on YouTube on how to make a manual power pole. Those manual power poles are very similar to what I'm holding in my hand. Mike Kinnick actually made this um, back last winter. He made one for himself and one for me, and we never did use them. We never did install them on our kayaks because we got pretty busy fishing and just never took the time to install them. But this is on an aluminum base. Uh, it's an electrical box. So inside this electrical box is a series of pulleys. Your line runs in through the electrical box comes out through a hole in the bottom next to where your pole comes out, your anchor pole. So you tie your line to your anchor pole and it's mounted to the back of your kayak. It's mounted to the back of your kayak similar to this. So you have a line running through your eyelets into here, the series of pulleys inside tied to a pole that runs through this tubing. This is a little bit more complicated design than what Yak Gadget had. We wanted, we were looking for something a lot simpler. Yak Gadget came out with this mount for a manual power pole. It's a simple mount. They use a pulley on the side. The pole runs down through this hole. Your cordage goes through the pulley, hooks to the bottom of your pole, it's a very simplistic design. This is made out of uh, HDPE uh, plastic. You can see it's very well made, very sturdy. This is three quarters of an inch thick HDPE, so it's very, very sturdy. Uh, 
You can see the bottom base is made out of that HDPE and looks like they have placed the HDPE spacer uh, between the bottom base and the top plate which actually has a little hole back here in the back. That's probably where I'll tie my uh, rope. I like to keep a rope on the back of my kayak. I think the whole package, if you buy the whole package from him, pole and everything, uh, it runs, I think 150 bucks is what he told us. That might have been a show price, I'm not for sure. Uh, but I will check on check the website. By the way, I'll drop links to the website down below and all the contact information. Uh, this should be a great product. Uh, we are going to give it a go and see how it uh, see how it works out. So in the package, in the package we got the uh, mounting base. Like I said, it's made out of HDPE. Strong stuff. It's very well made. Uh, looks like they use Yak Attack pulleys. Also in the package, we got uh, four knobs. We got four studs that will be used to mount the base to the kayak. We got a length of rope uh, that will be used to tie to the pole. And we've got two collars. Uh, this would be the bottom collar uh, if you use their pole and this would be the top collar uh, of course the purpose of the top collar is to keep that pole from falling through the base when you drop it and the bottom collar is used to tie your rope to to raise the pole i'm going to do an install here uh, and see how it works out as first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to uh Remove these two plastic screws out of the front two well nuts. So I've got those out as you can see. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just test fit this on my kayak. And it looks like everything lines up really well. Um, looks like everything's gonna work out. He's got a bunch of different mounts for these. Uh, they're all listed on the website. He's got a mount for just about every kind of kayak there is. So you can check his website for those mounts. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the studs, the mounting studs, and I'm just gonna start them in these well nuts. These uh, studs have little hex heads in the top of them. So if you wanted to tighten them up, any of those well nuts, I guess you could torque them down. I would, I would refrain from torquing anything down in a well nut. If you have a stud or a nut that won't stay in a well nut and then I would just uh, maybe put some uh, pipe thread tape. So I have installed the studs into the well nuts. So now I'm going to place the base on the studs and that looks perfectly fine looks great uh, now I'm going to run the bobs down onto the studs and secure them tight these back two anyway so Got that done. Very sturdy. Very, very sturdy. I like the way there's no play in that. I like the way that. I like the way that fits just with two, two knobs holding it. 
The next thing I want to do is, is I like a handle on the back of my I like a handle on the back of my kayak. Um, so I have a handle here. I have a handle here and I am going to put this handle on this uh, mount on this base uh, so I can have uh, something to grab onto when uh, we carry these things out of the river. So there you can see I've got the handle put on and it looks like that's going to work out pretty good. I don't think I'm going to have any issues with that. So you can see here I have installed the base, installed the base, installed my handle. Uh, one thing that I'm noticing is uh, the knobs on this, it might be good to put a lock washer underneath these knobs just to keep them from moving. Uh, I can see where they might twist um, under pressure or when you lift this up uh, they could loosen over time um, so maybe a lock washer but I'm not sure about that another thing that I like about this is the way this base is made uh, you can see you can see that there's a hole underneath the base uh, to get to the bottom of your kayak here and that allows you to keep a drag chain if you want to have a drag chain on your kayak um, which is what I have right here so that moves freely I like that so I can keep a drag chain and also have this mount on here for a manual power pole usually the one I want to use which is nice I like that So I showed you earlier what we ended up getting with the package that we bought from Mr. Thomas. Uh, I laid all the parts out. Base, uh, four mounting studs, four knobs on the mounting studs, top and bottom collar. Well, last year when Mike made the DIY power poles, he ended up buying these aluminum stakes. I think you got them off Amazon. Uh, heavy duty. These are eight foot long. The one that, the ones that Mr. Thomas offered uh, through their company were, I think, six and a half foot long. He said that it would cost so cost them so much to ship anything longer. Uh, I can't remember if it's seven foot or. He had to keep it under shipping regulations. So Mike and I already had a couple of poles. So, we didn't buy poles from Yak Gadget, but they have the poles that come with the kit. So, we already had a pole. So, what I'm getting ready to do is, is I'm getting ready to install the pole on this base. And instead of running, he actually gave us cordage to manually run that cord to like a clam cleat. I am going to use a dog leash on mine and see how that works. So stick with us and we'll see how it goes here. One thing I want to note on the pole, when Mike made these last year for the DIY poles, he put a coupling on top and ran a screw through it. So that will serve as the stop on the top of our pole. On the bottom of a pole, he put a sleeve sharpen the sleeve so the sleeve wouldn't bust out and he added a little eyelet there on the bottom of the uh, pole to tie rope to so we'll see how that works the poles that come from yak gadget uh, this it's just a straight black pole 
Um, I don't know if it's made out of fiberglass or metal, I can't remember, but um, the poles just cut off at the end. It's not sharp, so it doesn't have any kind of uh, coupling on the end of it or anything. So this collar that came with our package goes on the bottom of that pole. This collar goes on the top of that pole. So that keeps the pole, the top collar, keeps the pole from falling out of the base if you get in the deep spot and you've got your anchor down. This collar is used at the bottom of the pole to tie your rope to to raise and lower your pole. As you can see, I unscrewed the sleeve off the bottom of this homemade power pole. It's pretty simple, just unscrewed it, unscrewed the nut, took that pilot out, took the sleeve off, and now I'm going to run the uh, power pole down through the base. And that fits in there great. So now I need to put the sleeve back on the power pole and attach my rope. Sleeve is on. So now to run the rope from my dog leash down to the bottom of the power pole. So here is my dog leash. Um, the dog leash for my power pole is going to be on my left hand side of the kayak. So here's my dog leash. I've got just a short length of paracord. And I'll show you why that is here in a few minutes. But anyway, I need to run this through this eyelet. Run it through that eyelet. Run it through this eyelet toward the back of my kayak, that eyelet. Now I need to run it through this pulley. This is a yak attack pulley. So once I run it through that pulley, I need to pull it out here. Now, one thing about this dog leash system that I'm using, um, when you make a dog leash, drag chain or whatever you have to attach paracord to the dog leash using braid we sew it there's all kinds of uh, DIY videos out there on YouTube to show you how to do that but you have to put a, pair, a piece of shrink heat shrink tubing over it because if you don't that where you sewed that together will fray so this piece of heat shrink does not want to go through this pulley, but I'm going to pull it through. Now, once I pull this through, I'm going to tie this paracord on the bottom with this short piece of paracord. That way, my heat shrink won't be long enough to get back up through this pulley. I don't want it jamming in the pulley. So let me tie this to the to the bottom of the 
pole. So I have the rope tied up to the power pole now. So that will allow me to raise and lower this manual power pole using my dog leash. It looks like it gives me plenty of clearance underneath the uh, base to accomplish what I want to accomplish. And another neat thing about the design of this pole, uh, as far as transporting it, uh, since Mike put this sleeve on it, on the bottom, we can just leave the sleeve, take the screw loose, pull the pole out, put the screw back on, leave the adapter attached to the rope, and when you're not using it, you can throw it up in the back of the kayak. The pole, which is eight foot long, I think we might be able to transport it up here. This looks like a pretty good place to transport it. Um, it's, it's bungee down here. And it fits right into the rod tip protectors, which I don't carry rods in these protectors anyway, so that's a good place for that power pole. Okay guys, that's going to do it for the installation video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. We really appreciate it. The channel's really growing here over the last month or so. and We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Without you guys, uh, there wouldn't be a channel. So share the channel with your friends. Please come back and see us. I hey, hope to see you on the water. Thanks for tuning in.